Hey guys, uh, it's Tuesday the 13th today. I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. Um, no work for us today, uh, so uh, we got something really exciting planned. Uh, tell them what we're doing, Kate. <laughs> we're gonna go buy a new iron. Yes, iron shopping. <laughs> so, uh, but first we're just gonna nip to the studio uh, really briefly and pick up the X-T2. I've been vlogging with the X Pro 2 uh, this weekend. Um, yeah, you may have seen the video uh, when we went clay pigeon shooting, and that was super good fun. So, uh, but it, I miss my X T2, especially because I haven't tried out my new microphone yet. So we're gonna get that right now. Mm. Mail. So yeah, the challenge is uh, today to. Uh, we're gonna go iron shopping and I'm gonna try and make it look sexy or uh, make it look good. Uh, so I have no idea how that's gonna go just yet. But uh, first of all, I'm gonna pick up the X-Pro. I'm filming on the X-Pro 2 now. I'm gonna pick up one of my X-T2s. Uh, this is the one with the candy skulls on the front, which I really like. I kind of customized my, my Fuji kit a little bit. I've never used the 18 to 55 kit lens before for any kind of video stuff. I pretty much always shoot wide, um, but uh, and I don't tend to use zooms a great deal. But I use the zoom in the studio just because of the versatility. Um, I don't think it's a particularly great lens, but it's just always worked for me in the studio. I don't need a fast lens in the studio because most of the time I'm shooting at I don't know f8, f5.6, and I very rarely shoot uh, you know wide open in the studio. But it has got image stabilization. So I don't have any stabilizers um, for my video work. Uh, you know, because I'm, I'm, you know, it's a pretty basic setup. Uh, so I, I thought I'd give, I'd give the uh, XT2 a try um, with the 18 to 55 uh, lens, f 2.8 to f4. Um, so we'll give that a go and see what that looks like. Uh, I'm gonna maybe shoot some B-roll. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go iron shopping and then maybe go for a coffee, have a walk around Stafford or something else. Maybe I'll film some of that. Uh, I have no idea what this is going to look like or how it's going to turn out, but uh, let's give it a go. See you there. Okay, let's go. So what are you saying on like a scale of 1 to 10? How excited are you for this uh, shopping trip? 10. 10? Yeah. Wow. What do you look for in a good iron? Uh, nice long cable, not too heavy. Mm -hmm. Nice thin point at the end so you can get between buttons. It's a good shout. It's got to look good. We've got steam functionality. A big thing? Yeah, you got to have good steam. Sure. We're here. We have a winner. Okay, so that was fun. Uh, now we're gonna head into Stafford to, uh, Town Centre to get a coffee. Coffee time. Explain your case. 
and uh, we're going to go buy an ironing board. Okay, so that concludes our. Uh, I, 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 all I say is uh, all the time. Okay, so that includes. Uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, so that concludes our iron shopping trip. Um, I didn't. We didn't really have a lot to do, uh, so I just kind of challenged myself to try and make a shopping for an iron look cool. A bit of a test, essentially. Nice little stop off at that cafe. Uh, what's it called? Bee and Bean. Uh, in Stafford, those guys were super nice. If you're in Stafford, definitely check those guys out. They, they make an incredible um, cup of coffee uh, and a hot chocolate, and the cake was incredible, the uh, Victoria sponge. Uh, I'm probably gonna finish up this vlog with maybe some B-roll or something of us using the iron. Uh, so uh, anyway, hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Please subscribe and, and like the video. It really helps out the channel, and uh, leave a comment below. Uh, say bye, Kate. Bye. Peace. Mm -hmm.